Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Kyrian Puff Caps going to be our next meme tier Monday deck. Um, this one is going to be a deck built around uh, Teemo and Ezreal for our champions, but Teemo is going to be uh, having its Puff Cap stuff with um, a lot of spells with Puff Cap Peddler. Um, and so we're going to be, you know, doing that part of our deck, giving putting a bunch of Puff Caps in our opponent's deck. But then we're also going to play Hexcore Foundry so that both us and our opponent draws more cards so they can draw more Puff Caps. And with us drawing more car cards, we want to find Kyrian Sump Workers. Now we're going to go Sump Workers with Counterfeit Copies to make more copies of Sump Worker into the deck. We also have Iterative Improvement to, to make more copies of Sump Workers um, because once you play your second Sump Workers, of course, then they turn into the Sump Works Posse. And now they're a very awesome elusive, a 4-2 elusive that attacks and does 1-2 all of their stuff. Very powerful card for 2 mana. And if we can draw more of them, um, you know, that's even better. Of course, the counterfeit copies is card disadvantage, right? Because it's all you're doing is you're spending mana and you're spending a card just to put cards into your deck. Not not very good. Like, that's not a very good trade-off. But if you can if you can combine that with a card like Hexcore Foundry that just increases the resources, you have that extra, you know, you can, it's okay to spend a resource um, whenever you're going to be gaining more resources every single round. Yeah, Sumpworks Posse is basically like a champion. Yeah, like that that is like a champion there. Two mana, four, two elusive attack deal. Yeah, that's definitely a champion. So being able to put more copies of them, that's good. Even counterfeit copies on Teemo or counterfeit copies on Ezreal, those can be useful because getting lots of Ezreals is great because you just have lots of Mystic Shots and that's always great. Uh, top end, we got, we're splashing Bilgewater for Wiggly Burblefish because this spell's pretty good. <laughs> zero, zero mana, two one elusives are nice. We got suit ups for protection. Suit up, you know, we can suit up the Sump Worker or suit up the Teemo or the Ezreal. Those are all like, the first, this first Sump Worker is only a one power elusive, one power elusive, one power elusive. So, you know, suit ups can help out with all of those. And, you know, even suit up, being, suit up a purple fish may not be bad either. A couple tri beams, because that card's cool. Um, there we go. That's going to be our our deck. All right, so let's let's give it a try. Kyrian Pupcaps. Ooh. Vladimir Sejuani. Okay, okay. I think we're just going to keep this opener. We can make more copies of the Sump Worker. It would kind of be nice to have the Peddlers in play first before the spell. I'm not sure if they're going to have... You know, like your Death Sand and Ice Shards and stuff like that. Alright, cool. Have a mushroom. Have Unfortunately, Scar Ground's not cool. Wait, do I need to kill, kill this Bloodletter? Because I guess if they play... Oh, no, no Braum in their deck. Okay, I was going to say if they play Braum, then they gets the one power challenge. But no, there's no Braum. We'll take what we need to survive. Dang, that thing's big. Wait, I guess this whole deal one to them is not very good against Scar Grounds, is it? Yeah, wait, I guess this plan is maybe not that great. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Hmm. I'll have what he's having. It's still four power elusive though. Maybe I just discard counterfeit copies to get excited. Maybe I just counterfeit copies like Mystic Shot. Yeah, the Sump Workers does seem like it's kind of backfiring. Have a mushroom. Have three. I've heard about you. I'd 
never keep my guests waiting. Alright, I'm gonna copy get excited. I mean, I guess I might as well just play one of these. I can block with one also. Get that elusive damage in. Alright, 46. Ooh, that foundry is nice. Let me show you what I can do. Blood isn't a toy, dear. People are. Delicious. We'll make quick work of you. Let it flow. Let it flow. Mushroom help. Was he down to one? I'm a peddler, not a meddler. Do I just block everything? That's still five. I feel like they're gonna be able to still kind of kill me anyway. Should just use help. all of our peddlers. Yeah, I mean, I guess peddlers have done their job. Peddlers have done their job. Now it's, it's about the puff caps finishing it out. Strength through suffering. That's gonna be fifty-four puff caps now. Hopefully we can strike one more time with this Teemo. Draw some puff caps. Armed and ready. Man, to to preemptive suit up or not? You know, because like if I suit up, then they use a frostbite spell. Then you know, but maybe I I attack first and then they frostbite or troll chant and then I suit up afterwards. Okay, if I don't cast suit up and they just take the damage, they go down to six. And they have 104 puff caps with 29 cards, drawing two of them. I feel pretty good about the. Uh, mathematically, they should draw six. I feel pretty good about that. Okay, it was just Troll Chant. But now we get it back up to four. So, great call. Back up to four. No! Wow, they really thought a long time on the, on having the best possible card. Oh no. Wow. And score start? Wow. <laughs> yeah, I guess I can just say. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, that's... That's the perfect right there. Dang. Where can I find a full body? Scorched Earth and fla like Flash Freeze. Not only just Flash Freeze, but they had Troll Chance and Flash Freeze and Scorched Earth. Gross. Jarvin Garen. Okay. What do we got? Mulligan. 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 We'll just start with the bot. Ezreal's not great here with them being a sharp... Like, I assume they're a sharp side deck. 
Guess I don't know for sure, but I assume that they're a sharp side attack. I must reach the king. That could be a problem. Giving like, you know, Garen or something big challenger, that can definitely be a problem. I mustn't stop. Witness perfection, meat bags. Sturdy blades, custom uh. made. System upgrade. I'm overpaying, but you just gotta kill Battlesmith. I, ran as fast as I, I don't like how this game's gone so far. We must all do our duty. Yeah, I don't like how this is going so far. I don't think we can beat a 5-5 tough challenger. Flesh was weak, but look at me no, this, now. It's gonna be difficult. Can you improve perfection? Fire till nothing moves. No, I, I copied the sump workers. We're not looking like the best Tribeam and Probulator deck, considering it's still at one. If I didn't forge it, you won't want it. Remember the fallen. I mean, our deck only has Hexcore Foundry for draw. Like, it's not like we really have draw. I mean, I guess we have two rummage also. Um, but PNZ, this is just a, a real downside of PNZ, right? Like, you can't really deal with these deal with five fives very efficiently with PNZ. That's just how it is. So, I guess they're holding sharp sight. I don't know why they didn't use the the tattered banner on the Garen. Probably, our deck probably needs a different support. Like we probably need a support region. That's not, you know, not just purple fish. Like, we probably need a real support region. I'm not sure exactly what region that is. You know, Demacia, Targon, Shadow Isles all offer different things. That's what I've been trying to think about. Like, what, what would be, like, a, the region to use for support? Freljord, of course, with all the Frostbite and everything. Like, Freljord could be that region, too. Frostbite and then protection like Elixir of Irons and Troll Chance. Probably need some kind of support region. That helps cover uh, stuff that PNZ struggles with. I thought you'd never ask. But I think Demacia just overall is gonna be a pretty poor matchup for us because their their units are just much bigger. And they also play sharp sight. And Raise the banner. kill us very quickly. We stand strong. So I think we're going to just, in general, really dislike playing Demacia decks with the current with Piltover and Dawn. Stay 
I have to do that just to get another blocker. Times will change, but Demacia must endure. Alright, so we can assume everything, best case scenario, all of our stuff dies and we go down to one. Best case scenario. Yeah, then I guess even like no matter what I draw, like I play something that I draw, they they just rally, so yeah, this is over. Okay. But that game kind of shows why counterfeit compies isn't very good, right? Because we just spent two cards and two mana to do nothing, right? Right? Like it's basically just one mana discard a card. Like that's all those you know, because like those both counterfeit copies, we played them both on sump workers. We didn't draw any of those sump workers from from that. Um, I think we just drew a normal sump worker. It's like maybe we drew one, but still, it's that's kind of the problem with counterfeit copies. Is it's it's two mana. It's well, we played two of them, so that's why I said start saying two mana. But it's basically one mana discard a card from your hand, right? Because it doesn't it doesn't do anything except for maybe you draw a different card later. Uh... So that's why we're ho we're hoping to pair that with the um, with the landmark. This is a great looking hand. I really couldn't ask for much more of a, like much of a better hand than this. All right, unfortunately, the Sand Soldier does die and turns the Bark Beast into a 3-3. This Sump Worker gets obliterated anyway. So like it, it being a 1-1 one, one instead of a 1-2, no big deal. So we get a free block. But we have the attack token turn one and turn three, you know, attacking with the posse on turn three. We can't really ask for a better hand than this. We even drew an improvement so we could get another posse in next round. Okay, the Mushroom Cloud would level up Teemo if they have a Vile Feast. And we got the Burn Spells, so like this is going perfectly for us so far. Wow! There we go, one and two. Like I said, it was going perfectly for us. We did it together. Think they yeah. So turn three, we have a 4-2 elusive with that AoE damage. Then turn four, we get a 5-3 elusive with that AoE damage. That's real strong. Ribbon's Ed. What a mind Mystic Shots take down Zen. Alright, Tribeam. I don't know. Are you gonna be able to work Tribeam? We like to get excited to go along with Tribeam. Maybe combine those together. Join the hunters, they say. It's my time. So I'm playing the Sump Worker on two. 
and then iterative improvement, the sump worker on three. Arachnoid Sentry is the problem for not attacking immediately. So maybe this is just too greedy and I should have attacked immediately. Oh, I hope that was mud. Okay, Jack, I wrote that down for you. So playing the bot to create uh, cards to discard for get excited. Can you improve perfection? Lay fragments. Get excited time. So that should work out pretty good. Now I don't have like an lethal attack coming back. At least not yet. We can get another posse in here, now we do. The past is a burden we must learn to bear. Man, that Sump Works Posse, pretty great card. Ooh, Ezreal mirror match for our, our fifth and final game. Ezreal Zillion. All right, another Sump Worker. Zillion's a 1-4, Ezreal 1-3. I'm just gonna mulligan these. Let's, let's find another Sump Worker. Okay, or Teemo, or Ezreal. We got all three of our champions. Nothing like the great outdoors. Yeah, this card this card has been really, really impressive. I kinda wanna like I wanna try it out, you know, like with a you know Zoe deck, right? Like been, been having a lot of success with like Zoe PNZ. And so just like a Zoe deck with this card. Wonder how that would be. Um. Oh wait. Time for a true display of skill. I never use my goggles either. Because by waiting, then I'd have the two mana for the Mystic Shot. If the Ezreal hit them, then we'd have the two spell mana for a free Mystic Shot. But if I don't wait, then we don't have the mana for Mystic Shot. Charge. 
Alright, so they're also a Sump Worker deck. Their first Sump Worker is down. I don't know if they're going to Quicksand, but it's worth attacking. Just gotta kill this thing right away. Otherwise, they can, you know, iterative improvement and play play a new one. Which that's, you know, that was their plan. But <laughs> Shark Chariot, what are you doing over here, Shark Chariot? At least their first two are gone. Their first two of these things. Two of them gone and an iterative improvement gone. Yeah, we tried being improperly or got a shark. Oh, take your time, pal. It's not like I've got better things to do. Timo's level up animation is really not much. Man, they drew double, double sump worker, double improvement. All right, well that was good, good response. Mystic shot killed Timo, and another improvement. They're a kind of deck that loves the Foundry though also, right? Like we're like they they love having the Foundry there too. Have a mushroom. Have three. I'm just gonna rummage away these these two beams. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. I've always been a fun Maybe I should have done that before attacking. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. Those are not very good draws. Is there a better champion that we could have besides Ezreal? Because we're not really targeting their stuff at all. We've never come close, even, you know, we've never come anywhere close to leveling up Ezreal. Time for a true display of skill. I don't think in current timelines with Sump Worker is, that's probably not a good idea. Another day in the field. Turn it like 
Yeah, I can see Vi being a little bit better for us. The Sump Worker is great. I, d I don't think the rest of our deck of just being all PNZ has really worked out that good, but the Sump Worker is great. Nailed it. I don't really see how I'm, how I'm alive. Can Sump Worker work with Swain? Yeah, I think so. Because basically with Sump Worker, I think you just need Sump Workers and Iterative Improvement. And that's just a, a really good comp combination, and you can just play those together, and then that's good. And I don't think you have to really... I don't think you have to, like, trick up your deck to, to play these together. I think they can just go in normal decks. Because um, even just, the, like, the 1-2 Elusive is, is fine. It's not it's not amazing, but it's, it's fine. It's playable. And then, obviously, you get a champion whenever um, you get the other one. And so that's amazing. And so, yeah, like this one, obviously this is a meme tier deck today, right? Like this wasn't a, a real rank deck, but that just shows like counterfeit copies looked, you know, just really, really bad, right? Like it, it didn't help ever. Um, and then even like Hexcore Foundry, the Puff Caps, like the Puff Caps with Hexcore Foundry, that's good in, in decks like where you can, you know, play more defensive and you have, you know, like your, your Freljord decks, right? You've seen the Freljord Puff Cap decks where you get, where you can have all of your Frostbite cards and everything like that. And, you know, you have a lot of interaction and, and so, like, the Puff Caps and Ezreal work, work well with all of that. But just putting putting those together with, like, some, you know, with the Sump Worker and Iterative Improvement and Counterfeit Copies, that, like, the all these cards just kind of take away your interaction and card draw. And so they just don't, you know, they don't work that great together. Um, suit up look good with our, our small things. But, um, so basically, like, these are, these are kind of, like, two different... Like this is basically like throwing throwing a combo in a deck that can't afford to to have the combo in there, because the the puff cap part of your deck you really have to be like basically like an Ezreal deck we gotta be able to target enemies the puff cap deck we need to like be able to stay alive have a longer game. Throwing all these together just didn't didn't work out like just all these PNZ stuff together. But there's individually like there's there's different segments of our deck that are very good and um, you know worth building around. But they're not. Um, they just don't don't combine too well together. If that makes sense. But it's is interesting to to try that out and to see how that works and everything. Um, but I would. I would not really play counterfeit copies. Not really advise playing counterfeit copies. You'd have to have lots and lots of card draw. We tried this one, or like, you know, we had another do, you know, donation deck that we tried before with Sump Workers with Shurima and with Zillion, and that one had, did have lots of card draw with counterfeit copies, but it still didn't feel like it was enough. Um, no, you don't, no, you don't need Elect Electro Rig either. I don't think you need the stuff like that. Just just play Sump Workers and, and Iterative Improvement and you're good. You don't, you don't need to trick it up. All right, so that's going to be Kyrian Puff Caps. We're, we'll keep on playing Kyrian decks, but I, I think that... So basically, that's what I'm saying. I think that this Sump Workers and Improvement is a great combination, and you can put this in... Um, you know, put this with, with other decks, but we don't we don't need to play other cards to try to make this combo better. Um, that's what I found. We've, I've played, so I've played this twice, Sump Workers twice, both times with counterfeit copies, and I think that I would just recommend not having those together anymore. That's, that's after... After playing those together with both decks, say get rid of copies, get rid of like stop playing copies, stop playing Hexcore Foundry, play these together with with good cards, and so I'm, I'm excited about that. So we'll we'll try this out with other stuff. Um, you know, we're talking about like Swain, Zoe. Yeah, you know, we'll we'll keep trying this with with other with other things, but I think there's a lot there with iterative improvement and a sump worker. All right, that's going to be it here for Kyrian Puff Caps. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. Let me know what your Sump Worker deck is, what, you, what you've been doing with that, uh, how you've been liking playing the Sump Workers. I'd be really uh, be really interested to hear what combinations you're coming up with with Sump Worker. But that's going to be here for this deck. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.